You may begin. Hello, everyone. I'm Maritza Rodriguez, Pavonia International's Global Vice President of Marketing and Communications. And on behalf of Pavonia International, I'd like to welcome you to this exciting high-value educational event. Rest assured that the time you invest in this webinar will serve to enhance your knowledge of the science behind anti-aging, the latest on-trend ingredients, and much more. Your Pavonia webinar panelists are Dr. Dr. Juris, Medical Director of Global Education, and Kim Lee, Corporate Educator. They will both be presenting you valuable information from both the science and natural perspective side. And they will ensure that the next hour invested results in a truly educational experience for each of you. We also want to take a moment to extend our sincere appreciation to Pavonia Partners for your business and for joining today. Thank you for all the wonderful questions, by the way, that you pre-submitted. Um, also, please feel free to use the chat function to submit any questions you may have during the webinar. We will address questions as time permits or have already addressed the pre-submitted questions throughout the PowerPoint, or we will be extremely uh, respectful of your time. So we want to make sure that we don't run over. But we will also collect all questions and provide participants an anti-aging Q&A document post-webinar. Hello. Welcome, everyone. This is Dr. Christian Juris. And today we're going to discuss interesting aspects about aging, anti-aging, and age reversal. Even though addressing the concerns of skin aging is still challenging, skin therapists, spa managers, directors, and owners have plenty of options to offer in their treatment menus and for home care recommendations. So basically, let's begin with learning about the body and the skin and aging. Hello, um, my name is Kim, and I'll be joining you today on the webinar. Um, what we're looking at now is its kind of my favorite slide. It's basically saying let's not lose sight that the skin is a waste organ, one of five in the body, and this is the one that we visually see. <laughs> so it concerns us the most because hopefully people see beauty on the outside as well as on the inside. Is your skin troubling you? It concerns us all. In fact, the business of providing anti-aging solutions is growing and, protect, and projected to continue to grow, both in providing skin services and sales. According to the World Health, retail sales alone are expected to grow to $291 billion by 2015. That's just months away. So let's see how you can tap into the anti-aging market. Dr. Juris, let's talk about how does our skin really age? Great. Well, basically, in the aging skin, we have many issues going on at once, like collagen and elastin depletion, loss of moisture, of course, effective nutrition, all of which are going to lead to visible signs of aging, such as lines and wrinkles, pigmentation, uh, dilated, broken capillaries, dryness, etc., all of which affect people and make them feel bad about it. The aging process is basically a combination of intrinsic and extrinsic factors. So, for, ex for intrinsic factors, you know that they're genetically determined and they lead to cellular deterioration and death of the cell, of course, formation of free radicals, etc. So, these are going to affect also the skin in many ways. For example, we're going to have less moisture and cell bonding due to saccharide deficiency. We're going to have drier, and more dehydrated skin because of lower sebaceous activity also and lower sweat gland activity. We're going to have an impairment of melanocytes function leading to pigmentation problems. We're going to have less nutrition due to diminished capillaries and less oxygen. And, you know, in general, everything's going to underperform. Uh, the repair process are going to be less and less and so last but not least, you're going to experience wrinkles and lines. Now, of course, because we said there was a combination of factors, also extrinsic factors are very important. These factors come from the outside, from the environment, such as free radicals, cigarette smoke, pollution, alkaline cleansers, all of which will accelerate the physiological aging. And this is the key word, acceleration of the aging process. So, Dr. Juris, what you're saying is a very big factor in our aging is our lifestyle choices, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yes, what else should we consider regarding aging skin? Well, it is very important to know that since many things happen at once, there are also vascular changes within the dermis. Because of this, you will have less nutrition and oxygenation, which is going to affect how our cells 
uh, perform and how they reproduce. There's something else which is very important. One very essential component of the skin, which, which we happen to know as collagen, collagen is probably going to suffer the most. One of the problems is called glycation and also cross-linking of this collagen. I will refer to it in a moment. So you're saying that collagen is a very important component in our skin. Um, how do we preserve our collagen? And are there other ingredients that can work for anti-aging? Absolutely. Um, we need ingredients that can support collagen wellness and, of course, that can fight oxidation. One of them, one of the most important ones that people know about is vitamin C. There are many forms of vitamin C indeed. And lately, we have um, actually researched a lot about penetration of vitamin C and stabilization. One of those forms is tetrahexyl diesel ascorbate, which is the latest form of stable vitamin C. It's an ester. It's liposoluble. There's another form of vitamin C called ascorbyl glucoside, which is also a very stable form of vitamin C that protects and not only protects the skin, but also helps to fight against free radicals. Now, the importance of vitamin C, it's actually in the fact that it's a necessary cofactor for the formation of collagen, which means it makes collagen strong, and at the same time also addresses one of the other concerns that people have during the aging process, which is pigmentation. It is capable of inhibiting melanogenesis. Additionally, in vitro testing and also in vivo testing has proven that um, collagen can be increased and cellular proliferation can be increased with the addition of vitamin C. Vitamin C not only helps collagen to be more um, uh, strong and also to, to maintain the density of the skin, but definitely maintains the skin uh, more smooth and with less lines and wrinkles. So, we will discuss also about polypeptides and collagen. Um, so what you're saying is um, the facing the facts on collagen, that we actually have shown that collagen is a protein that gives our skin its strength. Each year in our 20s, we lose a little over 1% of our dermal collagen. So if we do the math, what we're saying is that by the age of 30 years old, we've lost 10% collagen in our skin. So by the age of 50, does that mean we've lost 30% collagen? Tell well, me more how we can preserve this collagen. Well, yeah, approximately that's what can happen. Your collagen will be decreasing exponentially over the years, and definitely we need to do or take the appropriate measures to maintain the collagen as healthy as possible within the skin. So both collagen and elastin, which I need to mention at this point, they coexist in the ideal balance in young, healthy skin. And factors such as UV light can damage and be one of the main culprits of damage to these important protein fibers. If we look at the next slide, we'll find out that fibroblasts are very important cells which dwell in the dermis, and they actually synthesize protein chains three of which will form a collagen fiber. Then this collagen molecules will aggregate into fibrils, and then this is what's going to make collagen very strong. Unfortunately, over time, many things can happen. And basically, um, as cells start to lose function and become more and more slow in, in, in their physiology, then you will have weakening of the collagen, which can lead to collapse, and then definitely formation of wrinkles. Dynamic wrinkles. <laughs> Correct. The movement, those weakened spots, the movement of the skin, and this will also lead us into thinking about certain ingredients that can actually smooth out that particular problem. But there's also chronic inflammation and cumulative sun damage. So this is why we need to actually help the therapists um, to know how to manage the aging process. And one way to do this is through uh, guidelines, such as the GLOGAL classification. The GLOGAL classification helps to determine, more or less, the aging stage of a person as far as the skin. So a young person will be considered a GLOGAL 1, where any changes to the skin are mild and can be easily reversed. But when people start you know, going into their 20s, 30s, those wrinkles in motion will start leaving a little imprint on the skin. And when you're in your 40s, that would be um, pretty much a glug out three. 
your wrinkles can appear even when there's no expression, when there's no movement to your face. So when you get even uh, more mature in your 50s or 60s, and because of cumulative damage and lifestyle, et cetera, a person can be a Glogau 4, which is only wrinkles. And remember, the, the whole importance of this classification is to use it as a guideline. Correct, Kim? Yes, the esthetician uses this Glogo chart, very popular, to help us create treatment plans from preventative to actually corrective treatment plans in the anti-aging market. Very good. So basically, I mentioned before about glycation and glycosylation. Glycation is basically the biggest problem that collagen has. Glycosylation is a normal process. It's necessary for molecular function. During glycation, there is a detrimental process happening to collagen fibers. Basically, with glycation, collagen gets damaged because of sugars that get attached to those collagen fibers. And as we all know, those sugars are sticky. They harden when they oxidize. So they make collagen a little brittle. And because of that, you will have you know, um, a collagen that can easily break, and over time, it will become weaker and weaker. In addition, you're also going to have cross-linking, which is the formation of chemical bridges between those proteins. So what happens is that in some areas of the skin, you'll have more accumulation of collagen in very hard bundles, whereas in other areas, you will have um, spots that are void of collagen. So basically, sugar can cause damage at many levels, and of course, is one of the reasons for increased inflammation. And part of the aging process is chronic inflammation. We need to understand that cross-linking is irreversible, and that's the reason why we need to start working as early as possible on the skin to maintain youthfulness. So sugars, even in our diet, have an effect. Oh, yes, absolutely. The more sugar you put in your diet, the more damage your collagen will suffer as well. So sugar is aging, aging to our skin. Yes, sugar can have a detrimental effects to our skin, definitely. Very interesting. Um, this is why we're looking at this chart here, where we're seeing generational skin changes, um, age reversal versus anti-aging. Um, some of the questions we received are about this as well, um, targeting what treatments are best for what type of skin, and age does play a big part of it, whether it's a preventative measure, age reversal, or, or something that we're actually dealing with hyperpigmentation and after effects of our extrinsic factors. Correct. This is very important. This is why we need to choose the proper ingredients to help the skin. Some of the ingredients will overlap in their benefits. Some of them are going to be more beneficial at preventing, but also they will help with repairing. Now then you will have ingredients that are particularly focused at repairing the skin, which are going to be very important for age reversal once those uh, symptoms have already happened on the skin. If we look at the next slide, actually, we can see some of the cross-linking consequences. As you can see, the skin is the tissue that gets damaged because of cross-linking collagen at that level, and it causes wrinkles. But if you look at uh, the brain, the brain can also get cross-linked collagen, and then it can give us a stroke, or even in the eye where we can get cataracts. So collagen definitely affects at many levels, and this is why we definitely need to restore the collagen strength and vitality, and for that we have many sources. But there are specific sources that are better, like marine collagen. So why do we choose marine collagen? This is a good story because actually when we trace back to a Dr. Rene Quinton, he actually proved that seawater is closely matching our own body's fluid. His experiments with transfusing a dog's blood with seawater proves that the the white blood cells actually reproduced within the dog's body, and the dog lives on for many years. And by the way, no dogs were harmed in his experiments. <laughs> so, but this proves that like, like attracts like, if collagen of fish is closely compatible to our own body's collagen than any other source. And consumers agree. <laughs> collagen is one of the most popular anti-aging ingredients globally around the world, and consumers testify and promote and purchase collagen. Um, so hopefully you have sources of collagen in your treatment rooms because it's an excellent anti-aging ingredient. Wonderful. 
We also mentioned elastin, and this is very important. Um, yes, there's a lot of buzz about collagen, but elastin is also important. Some people actually do not have as many wrinkles as they could be concerned with, but they are concerned about the sagging of the skin. They can feel that the sagging makes them look like sad or, or in, in some ways depressed, so it's very important to address that. Elastin, as you know, is very important for proper elasticity and skin tone. Over time, these elastin fibers with, will elongate and lose their retractable capacity, so they will not recoil to maintain the tone of the skin. This will produce sagging. We need to help the elastin fibers that we actually have to become strengthened, and for that, we need to use elastin polypeptides. Elastin relies a light on water. So think of a rubber band. If that dries out, it breaks. So how important is hydration to elastin? Hydration is a must. Part of the aging process is losing water. So we need to replenish that water within the skin, that hydration. And one of the most important ingredients everyone talks about is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is an incredible ingredient that helps with moisture retention, guarantees proper collagen and elastin protection and function, and along with collagen, it will also be responsible for skin plumping. It is also necessary because the more water you keep in your skin, the better migration of cells, the better metabolism, the better excretion of toxins, and of course, the better the repair processes. So the body makes its own hyaluronic acid, but what other ingredients can support our hydration in our skin? Well, we have one very hydrating ingredient, which is caviar. Caviar can also increase hydration because of all the components it has. It has amino acids, about 19 different vitamins, and of course, not only hydrates, but also brings tissue nutrition and oxygenation, while at the same time helps to boost cellular metabolism and help repair the skin. So this is very important. At the same time we are hydrating, we need to actually smooth the surface of the skin. Previously, we mentioned that part of the collagen problem was also that the wrinkles that imprint the skin have to do with movement. So we need to smooth the skin and address that particular issue with one ingredient, for example, which is from botanical origin, is the hibiscus esculentus. This ingredient will work on the shallow nerve ending network of the skin to relax and smooth the skin. It helps to reduce acetylcholine, and that way the movement of the skin is minimized in that particular area. This helps to make the skin look a little more young and, of course, plumped, which is very important. In addition, it will promote the fibroblast biosynthesis of collagen. So this is very important. So we take our number 11s to number zeros? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Almost, but we can, we can definitely decrease that appearance. So it depends on the commitment of the person and how they will get into it. Now, we also have other ingredients that can help tone the skin. We mentioned elastin polypeptides for firming. This will happen more like deep within the skin. With sorghum, we can have faster results at a more uh, superficial level because the sorghum extract, the sugars that are found in this extract will react with the keratin of the epidermis causing a tightening of the skin, kind of like a tightening net. And this will firm the skin very quickly and maintain the skin looking absolutely radiant. And working with sorghum, it's, it's almost an instant result. You see an instant facelift result due to that tightening action. Yes. As soon as the sorghum is applied, the reaction occurs with the surface keratinocytes, and they tighten immediately. Now, if you know, another very important concern for uh, people with aging skin is pigmentation. Pigmentation is big. And so there are many ingredients in the market that can address pigmentation. However, not all of those are safe, most of which are based on acids, then they have limitations. You can't go out in the sun, you can't use them on sensitive skin, etc. Diacetylboldine is actually a great natural ingredient that comes from the Chilean boldo tree. And what makes this special is that it is safe for every skin type 
and can be used during pregnancy. So this, this gives you um, more flexibility on how you can actually use it. And basically, it will lighten pigmentation by inhibiting tyrosinase. Of course, there are many more new ingredients that we normally teach about during our classes here. Age spots and dark spots, liver spots, uh, whatever spots you want to call them, are very difficult for the esthetician to actually improve, especially since inflammation plays a big part of that. So finding things that are going to work um, on the skin without causing further inflammation are really great tools for us in the treatment room. Definitely, but you need to use tools that are effective and safe at the same time. And by mentioning that, we have been addressing every possible angle of what we need to do with the skin as far as helping it. But one very important thing that we haven't mentioned yet is skin rebuilding. And skin rebuilding is achieved most graciously with the use of retinol. Retinol, as you know, is the safest and most effective form of vitamin A that can be used in skincare. It helps to restore usefulness and stimulates mitosis, which is cellular reproduction, and that helps resurface the skin. Nevertheless, retinol has a few limitations. Uh, as vitamin A, it can oxidize quickly and become a little as unstable, especially when put into formulas. So this is why research has now uh, brought us the new form of retinol in much smaller particles that spread easily within the skin and penetrate very rapidly with higher stability, and this is called micro-retinol. If you look at the graphic, the, the, the way that you obtain common retinol involves an enzyme called hydrolase, but in this particular process with micro-retinol, you are going to use a very specific enzyme called keratin dioxygenase, and this will make all the difference. What I like about carotene dioxygenase is it's from dark leafy green vegetables. So it's pretty much the way the body actually creates its own retinol, retinoic acid for the cell. Absolutely. And the great thing about this is that retinol can be used both in professional and home care treatment. So if you look in the slide now, so we've discussed many solutions for anti-aging repair. How can we get our skin to perform better naturally? Oh, well, you know, research hasn't stopped. So now the latest buzz in anti-aging and age reversal is with plant stem cells because plant stem cells can help promote densification and repopulation of the skin layers for younger skin. Basically what they do is that they reactivate and stimulate cellular functions, especially those of your own skin stem cells. And where in the skin do we have our own stem cells? Well, we have a few locations, of course, for the stem cells. We have stem cells located at the bottom of the epidermis, which is the basal cell layer. Every two to seven cells of the basal cell layer is a stem cell. And this stem cell is going to differentiate or transform into a more specialized cell, in this case a keratinocyte, to replenish and repair the skin. So basically, they constantly renew and rejuvenate your epidermis forming new keratinocytes and regenerating damaged tissue. So, you said, where else? Okay, yes, we do have also stem cells in the dermis. In the dermis, they mainly reside in the papilla of hair follicles. We can also find them within the lining of the sebaceous gland as well. But the most important ones are the ones at the bottom of the hair papilla. These particular stem cells are going to differentiate or transform into fibroblasts. Of course, as we know, fibroblasts are very important because they're going to regenerate collagen and elastin and reticulin. So we're going to redensify the dermal matrix. So it is very important to protect these dermal stem cells to maintain their activity, which tends to, you know, slow down over time. So from what I understand, um, being the cross-section of the skin is what you're seeing, that we have stem cells in two places, or well, many places, but the two we're concerned with the most is in the skin, is in the basal layer of the epidermis, which is creating our keratinocytes, and we also find dermal stem cells in the hair papilla, which are forming our fibroblast. Is this correct? Yes. This is great. How do, we, how do our plant stem cells help our own stem cells? 
Well, basically, advanced biochemistry researchers have actually discovered that certain plant stem cells contain epigenetic factors that are similar to those of an adult human stem cell. So what is an epigenetic factor? It's basically a factor that can modify, stimulate, or affect gene activity without causing any alteration to the DNA. So in a few uh, simple words, what you're doing here is using particular factors that are going to activate or stimulate your own stem cells. And this is how plant stem cells relate to um, your own skin stem cells. And not only that, but you are also going to get benefits from the direct effects of antioxidants, peptides, enzymes, growth factors, everything else that is derived from the stem cells medium from where you cultivate your stem cells. So what we're saying are plant stem cells are not growing human stem cells, but providing growth media for those human stem cells to perform better. Right. And all of this happens in a very sustainable process. And this is very important. Well, we can see that we know that plants in their raw form cannot penetrate the skin. So how can we make this possible? Well, it is very easy. In order to deliver the stem cells to their targets, we need biotechnology, which is also a sustainable process. This biotechnology is important because only a very small amount of plant material is needed, and this helps us to formulate an effective product. This is a green process that preserves the environment. Can you tell me more, <clears throat> can you tell me more about the selection process and which stem cells are best for our skin? Of course. You know that there's a multitude of stem cells that are utilized in skin care uh, formulations. And the most common stem cells extracts are those from Swiss apple. Now, what happens is that you can have different sources, like those coming from flowers, leaves, roots, and other botanical sources, which are being utilized with promising results. Of course, results will vary according to the source and the final product formulation. And this is what we need to focus on. You know, you can have plant stem cells that focus on antioxidant effects, that focus on stimulation and particular repair processes, protection, even hydration. Um, so also we need to look at where in the skin these plant stem cells work. So some of them will work within a particular level of the skin, and then you may be limited in all the results or benefits that you can get. So this is why a properly chosen combination of stem cells within the skin can render optimum results. Let's talk again about sustainable. So these plant stem cells, are they harming the plant that they're formed from? Absolutely not. You only obtain a small part of that uh, new growth or a small part of the tissue of the new growth, and then you cultivate it in a way that you uh, mimic the actual current environment where that plant grows, and then, of course, you multiply it in, in a very sustainable way, in a very green way. Nothing artificial is used. And this way, we don't need to go back to the source. This way, we help to preserve the environment. That's wonderful. Now, there's also been a lot of talk about human stem cells. Um, can you comment on how plant stem cells differ than human stem cells? Well, of course, they're vastly different. Um, even though um, there are epigenetic factors, human stem cells can definitely be a perfect source for skin benefits because it's human after all. So what happens is that depending on where those stem cells are obtained, there's a lot of controversy generated. You see, uh, a human stem cell can be very specialized, whereas a plant stem cell, or most plant stem cells, have the capacity to become or or be back into a, a whole new plant. They can grow back into a whole new plant. Uh, human stem cells are a little more uh, differentiated, and they, they have to specialize in a particular type of tissue. So in, in reality, even though the first uh, research was based on embryonic sources of plant stem cells, uh, nowadays there are more non-embryonic sources that are being utilized with success. After all, it's about a company's philosophy, and we particularly support botanical sources that are highly effective and can deliver great benefits to the skin. So, you know, Pavonia in particular is using two botanical sources of plant stem cells that are very important. 
One of them is from the argon tree, and the other one is from the comfrey root. The argon tree uh, stem cell works inside the dermis, and the comfrey root is most active within the epidermis. So that way, we complement two stem cells to get the greatest results for the skin. So, stem cells, um, why plants? I can speak on that. <laughs> uh, plants are life. You know, plants are, plants are actually rooted in the earth with minerals, and they are photosynthesized through the sun. So plants are fuel. We all know that a whole foods, plant-based diet is the best for our bodies. It supports every bodily function, and it knows exactly what to, it, nutrients and ingredients it needs to make us healthy. So plants are life, and stem cells from plants are going to help support our skin perfectly. Very good. So basically, this is why we use stem cells from plants. Now, the plants that we're going to use are plants that have been tested and proven clinically to work. And as we said or mentioned before, the argon stem cells, which come from the argon tree, it's actually a tree that endures the most difficult conditions in the world. It is actually from Morocco, uh, there's low humidity, high temperature, and yet this tree is incredibly strong. And because of uh, research, it's been proven that the argan tree stem cell extract can help normalize dermal stem cell function. And that's why you can actually increase and, 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 and make sure that these stem cells at the bottom of the hair papilla will differentiate into fibroblasts and produce more collagen. So if you look at the next uh, slide, you can see how young skin is compared to old skin where you see a difference in the amount of density within the skin. When the older skin is actually treated or um, when an extract of argon stem cell is actually um, put inside that skin, I can tell you, and you can see in here, there's an increase in densification or density within the skin where you see more fibroblasts, where you see more collagen, when you see more plumpness in the connective tissue. And this has all been proven through a specific testing. Um, in dermal papilla cell cultures with SOX2 positive, which is a protein that helps with the differentiation, it was shown that the argon extract helped to increase the, the transformation or differentiation of these stem cells into more specific types or more, or more uh, specialized type of cells. So this is why argon is also reportedly the first cosmetic active that is capable of both protecting and vitalizing dermal stem cells. Later on, of course, another test with argon stem cells showed tightening of the dermal tissue after 56 days. And there there was an anti-wrinkle effect that was actually proven on a clinical test on 21 volunteers with only 0.4% of argon stem cells extract. And this was applied to the crow's feet area for 56 days, showing a remarkable reduction in the wrinkle depth of 26%. Now, you probably wonder why I say 56 days, right? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I will explain that in a moment, but basically the, the, the issue with the 56 days is that you need two full skin cycles for the most optimum results, although you will see results in the beginning. Another uh, stem cell that we use, of course, is the comfrey root. The comfrey root will actually help the epidermis. The comfrey root is very uh, important because it's known for its wound healing benefits, and it helps to activate the propagation rate of epidermal stem cells. So they not only reproduce um, in, in larger quantities, but they also create all, more density within the epidermis. So it increases healthy epidermal thickness. Comfrey <clears throat> root is also well established in the natural health community. It's one in our nature's pharmacy. Um, it's, it's a cell proliferator and contains allantoin, which is also used for soothing and calming and healing benefits. Absolutely. And comfrey root stem cells have been proven to work. And what happened was that, and not only in a, in a medium, in a stem cell culture medium, they helped to improve the proliferation of these cells, of, of the 
of the keratinocytes and also improve hyaluronic acid content in epidermis models. But in vivo, meaning that uh, when it was tested in actual subjects, in a clinical trial with 20 women, which were in between 40 and 60 years of age, in less than eight weeks, there was a significant increase in the renewal rate thanks to the action of the comfrey root stem cell. Now, if you think of this, when you use a stem cell that works in the epidermis and a stem cell that works in the dermis, you get more benefits and that accelerates the satisfaction of the client once they start using the, the products because you need to address at different levels and this will actually make the skin look better and better over time. If we look at the next slide, we will notice that Young skin compared to mature skin, you see how these stem cells are pretty active in young skin, and they're reproducing and maintaining the population of healthy keratinocytes. Whereas in older skin or mature skin, you see that they start to function less and less, and of course, it's easier for the skin to show signs of aging, like um, you know, depression, lines, wrinkles, etc. So if we look at the control median underneath, we see that younger skin is also thicker, whereas mature skin is thinner. We are going to actually change this. And by using the comfrey root, you can see how the, the stem cell extract of comfrey root can increase the um, density of the epidermis as well, making it thicker but healthier. And of course, the function of all these cells is um, reestablished, and then the skin can repair faster. That's very exciting. Is there any, anything else in Pavonia stem cell formulas that make us unique? Absolutely. Um, I have to mention to you that Pavonia utilizes the best combination of stem cells available, and that is two stem cell sources that powerfully perform at the level of epidermis and dermis. But not only that, also you need to uh, see that in, in Pavonia, the concentration of stem cells active is about five to 10 times higher than what was used in the clinical trials. So if in the clinical trials the results were amazing with such small amounts with the actual concentration in the products, you have guaranteed benefits. And in addition, you also have the very specific formulation that Pavonia offers with unique triphasic delivery system, which also allows for maximum absorbency, faster activity, additional ingredients that will actually be delivered into the skin with antioxidant, protective, anti-aging benefits, adding up to the final uh, outstanding result. So our triphasic delivery system is very targeted, delivers in three phases, and delivers a faster targeted result, correct? Correct. As you know, you will have hydration, extra hydration, and you will also get the delivery of lipids that is necessary for uh, maintaining a healthy skin structure. So basically, now I know that you have tested the line. I want you to tell me, Kim, what you think about it and how is it called and what products are in it. Well, I'm very proud to speak. Um, the line is called Stem Cell Cito Elite. Um, our retail collection contains three products which are going to layer benefit over benefit of the stem cell complex. This is an anti-aging line and also an anti-aging preventative line. So let's take a look. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know if this particular line is designed for a, a specific age range? We're really looking at the Glow um, four and uh, three and four. However, again, for those that are looking for preventative uh, products to help them prevent them and to help their skin perform better from the inside out is what stem cells are working with. Um, actually, you can use it from your 30s on up. Very good. And we know that this line is safe for all skin types and also during pregnancy. And it can be used on its own or combined with other Pavonia anti-aging products. So do you know anything about the results of the latest testing? We um, actually conducted a 14-day trial with 34 industry professionals. What we saw was rejuvenated and smoother skin in just 14 days. 100% loved how easy it was to use. 91% experienced a smoother, more hydrated skin. 88% noticed skin looked and felt rejuvenated. 85% experienced no redness. And 82% noticed a brighter, more even skin tone. 
that's amazing. That's actually really, really good. So what happens over time when you use the line? We are, would be expected to see expedited reduction of visible wrinkles and lines, improved a healthier epidermal thickening, a tendency to more flawless features and more even complexions after continuous use, more elasticity with firmer tone, more plumpness and moist, fresh skin feeling, and glowing looking skin with evident vitality. And personally, I saw a result much sooner than your, the 56-day requirement. Probably within the first week, I started noticing a smoother, plumper skin, um, requiring less makeup and more even skin tone. Absolutely. You will notice results within the first two weeks of application. However, it's all about the commitment of the person using the line. Now, I have to tell you that in, 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 at the beginning, we mentioned 56 days in the trials, and this is important. And I said it was two full skin cycles because you need one skin cycle to develop what we call stemness, which is the reactivation of your own stem cells and then it will take another full cycle for the replenishment of the older cells with the new cells. So that comes up to about two months for the maximum results. So I know this is very exciting. It is very exciting. We're already getting feedback from some of the um, gifting that we've done to launch the stem cell CETO Elite line. Um, and you can see there on your slide that we're getting wonderful responses from the smell, the scent of it, the packaging, and the beautiful performance of the line. So let me show you a little bit about the line. Um, this is our first product in the retail collection. This is our multi-active foaming cleanser. This cleanser is a one-step formula. This is going to make it very easy for those of you that like to cleanse and go. <laughs> this contains our stem cell complex. Um, apple fruit extract, which gives it its nice scent, the green apple scent, and the natural kaolin. And kaolin allows it to be a one-step performing cleanser as the kaolin helps absorb any surface oils as well as any leftover cleansers and debris from your cleansing process. That's great. I tried it myself and I felt like the skin was feeling very silky afterwards. It's almost like, in reality, you need no toner. Yes. Um, if you do prefer a toner, um, you may use one from one of our other collections, but I felt the same way. You really don't need to follow with a toner. Next up is the Intensive Serum. It would go on clean skin. This has the highest concentration of stem cell complex in the retail line, and this is going to offer accelerated repair of aging signs, highly smoothing and hydrating. It's a booster. It contains your stem cell complex plus the addition of those anti-aging ingredients that we all love, a collagen and hyaluronic acid, licorice, and a matte form, form of vitamin C. That is great. So it's a wonderful booster for the skin. It, it is. It goes on very light, and you'll notice the chamomile flower extract. It smells beautiful. It's an aromatherapy treat. The Intensive Cream, um, beautiful packaging, I might, note, I might add. Um, this is um, going to, again, provide the stem cell complex. You've got your tetrapeptides. You've got vitamin C, E, collagen, hyaluronic acid, royal jelly, squalene, and again, the flower extracts of chamomile. This is definitely a supercharged moisturizer. Wonderful. And it gets better because we've actually even have a professional treatment for our esthetician and our spas to capture part of that billion dollar industry that's fastly growing. So hopefully the stem cell uh, professional treatment will put you on that path. You want to tell me a little bit about that? Absolutely. This is actually a unique take from Favonia. You have a stem cells treatment to offer in your menu. So not everyone does this. And the fact that you're taking stem cells in their purest state because they're, they're actually freeze-dried, you get a 100% total purity of these stem cells put in a way that is going to be delivered very easily and quickly into the skin through a facial. And, of course, you're going to have so many benefits to accelerate the results. Now, if you combine a series of these treatments and then you use the home care line, you're going to see results in much less time. And of course, as you see here, um, the freeze-dried ingredients are very, very important. We have the two stem cells 
uh, from argan tree and from comfrey root. We have collagen polypeptides. We have elastin polypeptide and mannitol, which is very important for bonding and hydration and, and the sugars that we're putting in the skin for, for proper structure of the skin. At the same time, we're going to mix this powder with a solution that contains water, hyaluronic acid, uh, an extract of algae to give it some texture, and of course, a little bit of salt. So when you put these together, you're going to have a very hydrating and stimulating ingredient um, or complex for the skin. So the most important aspect is the benefits that we get from the actual treatment, which is, of course, deeper penetration into the skin, deeper reactivation. You're using uh, a process that requires uh, no preservatives. Of course, you conserve the actives at their greatest potency. You infuse the skin with extreme hydration. And then, of course, you will see the results much, much quicker. I love the freeze-drying benefits for our spas as well. Um, the freeze-drying benefits are a unidose. Um, due to the fact that they are mixed at the time of use, there's no contamination. They're in their purest form. Um, you'll actually use the freeze-dried uh, stem cell product as an ampule, and you perform a targeted massage to get the maximum benefits. So it's an excellent treatment to offer to your guests. Wonderful. What other uh, products do you use in your facial? There are two other um, professional pieces to the facial. Um, the next would be your intensive mask. Um, this, as you can see, has your complex, again, your stem cell complex. Also zinc for healing, squalene, uh, shea butter, bentonite, and aloe. It's a very um, nice mask. It gives you a nice finish. Um, very easy to apply, and it's in a professional 6.8 ounce uh, back bar size. And then, of course, we, prevent, we actually have the intensive cream, which is in our professional size as well for back bar. Um, same, same ingredients as the retail cream, just a presentation for ease of use and cost per treatment. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you, Kim, for that incredible and valuable input. And, of course, um, I wanted to mention that Favonia has put together um, a chart with the anti-aging lines positioning, and this chart will definitely help you with uh, how to determine how uh, your anti-aging solutions should be addressed. So we have the power repair line for more preventative benefits. We have the microretinol line, which is also hel uh, helping your, your clients to get their skin restructured, reorganized, uh, rebuilt. We have myoxy caviar, the caviar line, which is great for oxygenation. It's great for lines and wrinkles, but it will definitely um, infuse the skin with additional hydration, and it will be a more uh, plumping effect that you will get on your skin. Then you get the LumaFirm lift, uh, lift and Glow line. This will be to address uh, pigmentation concerns, to address um, the, the lack of uh, tone of your skin and, and firmness, and last but not least, our stem cells feed to elite line, which as you know and you have learned about this on, this, on the webinar, this works more in depth in a, in a more progressive repairing process where you will actually uh, you know, experience the total rebuild of the skin, and all these lines complement uh, in, in different ways. So, Depending on, you know, the actual target, if you have someone who is starting in their 40s with uh, physiological aging, caviar would be the perfect um, uh, ingredient to use in their skins. But if someone has had uh, severe damage, more uh, aggression from the environment, from sun, etc., then you're going to have to use a combination of these lines. And the stem cells would be a great start point. So as you see here, you can... Um, start, you know, after 40, but if it's necessary for anyone who's gotten damage before that, it is fine to use it a little, a little earlier. And on behalf of Pavone International, we thank you for participating in this educational event. You may reach us at 1-800-PAVONIA or email pavonia at pavonia.com. Since we have a few minutes, I would like to address some of the questions that some of the participants have actually sent. However, we will have a Q&A section um, after this webinar that will be posted. So um, more of these questions will be um, answered later. 
So don't worry about that. Uh, we want to make sure everyone has the answer that they are looking for. So one of the questions here says if we have used parabens um, or sulfates or anything as preservatives, and we don't use any of those in um, any products in Pavonia. Um, I have also uh, received other questions regarding um, if an esthetician can use dermoplaning while using the stem cell service. I would say yes, they can. However, I would only recommend it after like a week of the dermoplaning uh, has been given to the skin. So there are many other concerns that people are, are worried about. So. Uh, the source of marine collagen is basically, and that's another question that we have, the source of marine collagen is white fish, okay? It's, uh, it's important because this collagen is the most compatible with uh, human collagen, and it's completely purified, so there are no possibilities of reactions or anything. So in, 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 in a few words, this is the way that works better for the skin where you can see results. You can use this marine collagen in two ways. You can use it as a filmogenic agent, which means it will work on the surface of the skin to create plumpness. And you can also break it down into smaller peptides, which is how Pavonia uses it, to make them go inside the skin. And then after that, you will see how uh, they can strengthen your own collagen and, and activate, actually stimulate the fibroblast. So if there are no more questions, I would like to thank you all for, um, you know, being part of this uh, webinar event. And of course, we will post some of the questions. You can keep sending your questions afterwards, and we will reply to all and every one of you. So it will be a pleasure to assist you, and we wish you a great day. Thank you.